What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. Now I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 and it is updated to Android 10.0. That's pretty much it. There's no naming scheme anymore. So it's just Android 10.0, it's got one UI, 2.0. But I'm going to be showing you how to get Good Lock 2020 on your Galaxy S10 or pretty much any device, Samsung device that runs One UI 2.0, as well as kind of uh, what Good Luck 2020 does and every single feature of it. So without further delay, let's dive right in. Okay, so first things first, what we're going to do is we are going to go to a place called Android Sage. So we're going to click on that and I'll leave everything in the description down below. All the links and all that good stuff, they're all going to be in the description down below. But we're going to click on download good luck 2020 apk we're going to scroll down let's see so there are a bunch of different download options good luck 2020 there we go so it's pretty much going to send us to the galaxy store uh so you can pretty much navigate from the Galaxy Store itself, or you can do what I did and go through Android Sage. So I'm going to click on open. Um, so now good luck, pretty much it redesigns your Galaxy phone. Uh, it gives you some extra pretty cool looking features. My favorite one is Task Changer. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to install. Looks like I already have it installed. Um, like I have that installed too. We're going to click on clock face. We're going to install pretty much all of them and then we're going to play with each and every one. And then get Naughty Star 2. Another great thing is there's also like a theme park, uh, nice catch, one hand operation, which is pretty cool, edge lighting. So let's go back. Good luck. Now, let's start with Task Changer. Now, I'm gonna click In Use. So, pretty much, if you remember your recents, this is your recents, right? When you turn on Task Changer, our layout type is now a stack. So now, it's going to resemble something, something like the iPhone, which is actually pretty cool. So, I'm going to leave it like that. Obviously, we can change it into list make it like it was way back in the days of like android oh i don't remember like android kit kat we can change it to a grid have it like that so it looks like it's something like an ipad carousel oh my god i remember this from many different launchers i used to use this on my old phone we can go to slim list which just shows pretty much the icon and the name in fact, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. And then there is definitely the vertical stack. So just the normal, how it was in like Android 8.0 Pi. But I really do enjoy the stack, so I'm going to keep that. We can do apply the blur effect to the background. And we can turn that off. I'm actually going to apply it. And then mini mode, so it's to ease one hand operation when a portrait mode, the list of recent apps is shown in small increments. Let's see how that works. Oh, I see. And that's all from One UI 2.0, how they want to make everything more uh, accessible for the user. So that's Task Changer. You can definitely play around with it. I really do enjoy that. Uh, quick Star, customize your quick panel. So right now this is how my quick panel is looking. I guess if I click on this, that's how it's going to look like. Uh, it's kind of like a theme changer, I guess you can say. I don't know. I don't really like any of these, to be honest. I think I'm actually just going to keep the stock. Or you can create your own. Apply. Get up dark blue there. 
the font color we can make black the notification background we can make blue and the panel board we can make black well you can't really see anything so let's make a there we go so it looks like you can create your own that's pretty cool then you can definitely change the clock position blah 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 so if you change the middle now it's in the middle we can change the right hand side or we can just hide it completely uh, I'm gonna keep it on the right hand side for now and we're gonna go to clock face so we can change the clock face on the lock screen so we can go this way there are definitely a bunch of different ways and this is what I love about Samsung phones especially there's a lot of customizability which out without adding or installing any launchers really I know a lot of people that install Nova launcher afterwards right away because they just don't like one UI but I think one UI and one UI 2.0 is a huge refinement and it really did clean up uh, back in the day when Samsung had touch Wiz, that was a huge pain um, I, I personally would just download Nova launcher right away I know that for a fact um, let's go ahead hit cancel go back to lock screen and I'm just going to choose this guy choose a color you can create your own color if you if you like um, just do like a blue there we go and click done we can change the always on display as well um, I'll keep that also I'll keep it at that. There we go. All right, now we have multi star. So this is enhanced multi window experience. I have yet to learn how to use it. It's quite difficult actually. Um, multi window apps. So I would choose one. Let's try that again. Can I open this app in split screen? Okay. There we go. So it looks like we just choose different apps and it, there we go. That's pretty much it. Multi-screen. Uh, I really do like it, but I don't know if you would use it on the Galaxy S10e specifically. That just seems very odd. I mean, it is already a small phone, very compact phone. Maybe if you had like the Galaxy S10 plus or the new upcoming Galaxy S20 series is what they're going to be calling it apparently. If you had those types of phones, then yes, it would definitely be worth using multi-screen and using uh, that feature. Now let's go back to good luck. And Notistar is a new notification management service. I don't have any notifications, so it's not really going to do anything. Uh, if we go to family part, there's a theme park. So we can create our own theme. Now that is pretty cool. I don't know what nice catch is, so I'm not going to go ahead, but there's one handed operation. I probably wouldn't need one handed operation. Like I said, it's a pretty compact phone already, the Galaxy S10e. But it's super nice that obviously Samsung has all these customizability features. Edge lighting, I'm pretty sure you would use this if you had like the Galaxy S10 or the S10 Plus or the Note 10 because they have a slight curve on them but I probably wouldn't really need this so remember it says support QOS and Android 10 was supposedly supposed to be called like Android 10.0 Q or obviously Google got rid of it there's internal namings but the official name is Android 10.0 and then there's a sound assistant anything that has to do with the sound assistant Bixby, I don't use it. But there we go, that is good luck for you. It's pretty much a app that lets you customize uh, your phone. You can create your own themes. You can change the task changer, customize your notification bar, your lock screen, uh, your always on display, all that good things. You don't need a separate launcher or a separate theme app or 
any you can change it with icons obviously um, I have yet to play with that theme park app but if you can change your icons as well that is going that's pretty dope so it looks like Samsung is trying to find ways for uh, the people that use their products to just use their products everywhere not just the phone themselves but the applications as well so instead of downloading like a third-party launcher they want you to use one ui 2.0 to its full potential this is your phone they want you to customize it uh so the phone pretty much expresses yourself and that's pretty much what it is you know my daily driver the oneplus 7 pro it expresses who i am i like simplicity my phone is simplistic i keep it clean that's pretty much what a phone should be. But there you have it. Good luck 2020 on your Samsung Galaxy device that runs One UI 2.0 or Android 10. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button. Comment down below because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, Superman, that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.